Morimoto, his record 16-8 and 1 as professional, 10 of those wins by knockout. He is in there to knock your block off, make no mistake about it. Yeah, I have to say, Alex, both of these two men looking somewhat more relaxed than after their weight cut yesterday. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, once you don't want to bring that tension to the ring. Nah. Round Head up in there. You need to keep a positive yep. tension, a really good, your, your own level of tension. Exactly. Underway. See Ferreira Gomez. So it's going to be Gomez Ferreira switching up already. Left to right. Very light on their feet as we start off this first round. This is the seventh bout of the evening today, live on Fight TV from Makuhari Mese in Japan. Morimoto has a karate background, I've heard, which so you expect to see some uh, spinning techniques. Again, three three-minute rounds with a one possible extra round. And this is contracted at 58 kilograms. See, the thing is with Ferreira, he, he doesn't just throw things to land. He throws things, he throws things to blow you away with. See, there's no, there's no set of punches. Everything's a swing for the fence. Oh, nice left hook coming down Ferreira there. Yeah, he caught Morimoto on the back foot with a lead left punch. Switches back. I think. Uh, Morimoto, he might want to, instead of backing up straight, circle out to the side. Absolute bombs being thrown in there from Ferreira. Oh, Miss Ferreira trying to put his fists through the back of Morimoto's face. I think Gomez Ferreira, I believe, heard he had the background in the shootbox academy in uh, Brazil. Very famous gym. More famous as MMA fighters, like Bandley, Silva, Pele. But obviously, they got they all have that Muay Thai background. Momentary low blow there, back into the action now. Going low, going high, Morimoto. They haven't really closed the distance, neither of them, so far. Gomez Ferreira is absolutely trying to kill him with that right hand when he throws it. Feel that. Feel the breeze from here. Oh, oh. Absolute bombs being dropped in the rise ring here tonight. Land is going to do some damage. If not, he's going to be uh, tiring himself out. Nice combination there on Monimoto. Going down well to, low to the body there. <laughs> Just gift over the top of Morimoto's head there. Hard, hard kicks from Gomez Ferreira. Oh yeah, I mean he's going with the in low and then right across the thigh and they're both, they both look as hard as each other. Ten seconds left in round one. Oh, oh, oh. Haymaker. Big, big. See that one coming a mile away. And uh, knee after the bell there, but uh, Gomez Ferreira acknowledges it and gives him a fist bump before going back to his corner. Fairly even round, I thought, there. Uh, it's hard to pick a winner. I'm staying neutral, Alex. I think uh, neither of them are quite close the distance yet. Still a bit tender, but I'm sure in the second round we're going to hit up a bit. As we move on into the second round now, Cornerman being asked to leave the ring. Round two on the way to touch gloves. Back to work. Oh. 
Good for the high kick there. Gomez Ferreira slips on the canvas. Gomez Ferreira looking to unload with that left and right hand of his at any given opportunity. Oh, jumping either. <laughs> Referee steps in there, following the clinch lasting for too long, keeping the action moving. One of the beautiful things about the rise. Oh, well, nice, right right hand. Hand. Me, nice right hand right there. More about a backing up straight than fair corner with the right hand. Overhand right there. He caught him there, he went down and as soon as he got up he looked to his corner, which is a good thing to do. Shows the sign of a good team. Look at the high kick, Morimoto. Taking some punches out here. Gomez Ferreira. Knees, big right hands. Trying to finish this fight as soon as he can. We're in the second round here. Big right hand from Morimoto. Doesn't look like this is going to go the distance, Alex, if they keep going at this pace. Left hook being blocked with a very sharp comp. Really for Gomez for a very compact left hook there. Morimoto. Looks a little bit like Morimoto. Right eye is closing up a little bit, swelling up and swelling up. I hope that doesn't come in to affect the fight too much. A low blow, yeah, you can definitely see his under his right under the side of his right eye, it's swollen. Another accidental low blow, both kicking and striking at the same time. He seems to be okay, focusing too much. Uh, they were both kicking at the same time by the looks of it. Sheer aggression from both of these guys in here tonight. Yeah, Morimoto seems to come back very well after that knockdown. Didn't seem to affect him much. You know, the danger is, Alex, as you mentioned earlier, because Gomez Ferreira tries to finish the fight so early. He does tend to burn himself out. Morimoto on the end of some horrible big swinging hooks from Gomez Ferreira. Fires back. The closing seconds. We will see a third and final round. That right eye looks like it's closed up fast. Let's see if we have some uh, replay here, but knockdown. Adele Gomez Ferreira took that round and towards the end actually landed a nice couple of nice right hands towards the end. But Morimoto did come back strongly after knockdown. He didn't let it affect him too much. Here we go. Replay. Right hand following up. Yeah, it was the huge right hand from Gomez Ferreira. But like you said, didn't seem to affect him too much. Shook it off and came back strong at the end of round two. You did. Yoshihisa good, Morimoto, sorry. He made, a good, me, he made a good point there, Stuart, though. Like, the, his fight was so good. Has he possibly punched himself out? How is his stamina going to hold up in his third round? Yeah, he's full throttle. That's his style. Balls to the walls. Yeah, everything is 100%. Uh, no holding back at all. No light shots. Gomez Ferreira getting a warning and a yellow card there for holding on to the clinch for too long. 
he was asked to stop and he held it for a little bit long but it could have been the knee more than one knee from the clinch that he gets the yellow card for sweeps morimoto to the canvas very nice that'll get some uh, impressive judges and also ties up your oh. Oh. nice spinning back fist he caught him in the midsection there Oh, I get that hard knee. He's seen something downstairs. Yeah, he is battering it into the midsection of Yoshihisa Morimoto. He knows he had him hurt there. Why is he Morimoto is uh, clinching? Yeah, yeah. He, he, I thought I saw a grimace for a second there, but yeah, I saw that too. But he's uh, yeah, the, the poker face was on. For a high kick, Morimoto. Push kick again, trying to keep Gomez Ferreira at bay. Not an easy task with somebody like this Brazilian coming at you. That was a low blow there, two low blows. Look low, but apparently not all Morimoto's just in the zone to land effective. Morimoto seems to have his composure again. Credit to his toughness. Aragoma should be sticking down with that body. He definitely had Morimoto hurt with the knee and the spinning back into the body. Gomez Ferreira throwing very compact hooks when they clinch up there. Not necessarily clinch up, but in the dirty boxing type scenario. Like Morimoto realizes though he needs a knockdown, at least. He's coming on, bringing the pressure. Yeah, he's pressing forward. And actually cut on his forehead, it looks like. Nice knee, another knee going in there from Morimoto. 30 seconds left in the third and final round. Nothing but 100% being given from both of these guys in here. I should be the left middle kicks from again. 10 seconds. Morimoto laying on the pressure. And there's a bell. Let's see what the judges have to say about this one, Alex. Yeah, Morimoto came on very well in that third round. I thought the third round was very close. Gomez for definitely took the first half of it. But Morimoto lost 30 seconds to a minute. He came back and re-established himself. But that knockdown is big. Some good knee work from Morimoto there in the third round. Very uh, slick on the what on the clinch in one strike. Let's go to the judges' scorecards. Judges, 29-28. Oh, Gomez Ferreira. There you have it, folks. Talison Gomez Ferreira takes the decision unanimously. Strong performance against somebody incredibly tough like Yoshihisa Morimoto. Yes, you have to respect them. Neither one came to, you know, just uh, come to win on points. They both came to win by KO. There was no KO, but that's what you like to see. The fighters come in and just give it their 100%, give it their all. For sure, they, they went after each other. Even Morimoto, even though he lost, he's nothing to regret. He let it all hang out. Yep. Put it all on the line. Yep, it's a loss, but it's an exciting performance. And everybody here in Makuhari Messe knows it. Yeah, surprised by Go Gomez Ferreira, his uh, every kick, every punch is 100%. No let up, no light shots, no setup shots. 
Everything's a chaos when serious power behind everything he throws your right. Actually, I don't recall, I could be wrong, I don't recall seeing too many jabs from him. That's right. <laughs> it was all haymaker hooks and kicks. This is